Hello to all of our senior infant boys and girls at home. I know you're learning all about electricity this week. So I have this non-fiction book for you called Electricity Makes Things Work. So I'm sure you remember a fictional book tells us a story and a non-fiction book tells us facts. So this one is giving us lots of information about electricity and how it makes things work. Now, this is actually one of the books that you would normally be reading in your reading groups for us boys and girls but I am going to read it today. So we're going to start with the introduction here. Electricity is a kind of energy that we use to make things work. Today we know many ways to make electricity. So have a look at those three pictures, boys and girls. One, two, three. I wonder, does anyone know how are they making electricity in these three different places? We're going to read more about these in a few pages, okay? We use electricity almost everywhere. Did you know farmers use electric milking machines to milk many cows at once? Here are all the cows and the electric milking machines. So I wonder, can you think of any ways that you use electricity at home? I knew I use it a lot to boil the kettle and make lots of cups of tea. <laughs> now, here we are. These are the pictures that were at the start of the book. Making electricity. Most of the electricity that we use comes from power stations. Power stations are buildings with special machines that make electricity for us. So do you, do you remember this power station? Could anyone guess how they make electricity here? It says some power stations use steam to work the machines that make electricity. So this power station is using steam to make electricity. What about this one, everybody? How do you think they're making electricity here? Others use water to work the machines. Did you know the water flows very quickly down long pipes to the power station? Power stations can make a lot of electricity. Okay, so this one uses water. And what about this one? I bet a lot of you know what these are and how they make electricity. I bet you're all shouting at me right now. You already know this one. These windmills are making electricity. This is a wind farm. It is a kind of power station. People build wind farms in windy places. Now, have a look at this picture. It shows us how electricity moves around. Electricity flows along wires. It comes from power stations and goes to places where it is needed. So here's the power station that makes the electricity. And then the electricity flows along the wires and goes to farms and schools and houses and cities. Electricity flows along the wires like water flows in pipes. We cannot see the electricity, but it is there in the wires. In some places, electricity flows along wires that are above the ground. So boys and girls, have you ever noticed the wires above your head? Sometimes the wires are inside pipes that are under the ground. These new streets have underground wires. So you wouldn't be able to see the wires here because they're all underground. There are smaller wires inside the walls of buildings. These wires carry the electricity to light switches and power points. I wonder, boys and girls, um, would you be able to count up how many um, light switches are in your home or how many plug sockets? Now it does say here a very important warning. Electricity is very dangerous. Be careful near electrical wires. So that's very important to remember. Now I want to have a little bit, um, a little look at electricity in houses here. We use electricity to do many things in our houses. We use electricity to make food hot or cold. So you can see here, he's cooking his food and making it hot. And this girl here is using her fridge to keep the food cool. So without electricity, boys and girls, we wouldn't be able to cook our food and we wouldn't be able to keep our food fresh in a nice cool fridge. We use electricity to help us clean. So here she's using a vacuum key cleaner and here the boy is using a dishwasher. I wonder, could you think of a way to clean the floor or to clean the dishes without using electricity? I think there's, a, there's another way, isn't there? I wonder, can anyone think of it? We also use electricity to make light, sound and pictures. So here they are watching TV. All right, I'm going to finish the story there, boys and girls. 
I definitely learned a lot about electricity. And I wonder, could you go on a little hunt in your home to see how many light switches you can find and how many plug sockets? Okay, boys and girls, thank you very much for listening. Slán!